Well, what advice would you give someone that's coming in with the any culture, any shock that you had, anything that stood out for you? What is some information that you would provide to someone who say coming in next week or coming in tomorrow? What's something that could help them with this transition? Well, um, I'd say somebody that's like not knowing what type of research they've done beforehand, mm -hmm. because like I said, that research, you know, doing your due diligence and putting your ear to the ground and, and trying to find out as much as you know beforehand is key. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you just got like a week out, two weeks out and you're about to fly out and go, you know, my best thing to tell you is to keep an open mind and mm -hmm. not to go over there thinking that everything is going to be greener on the other side. Because mm -hmm. there are things that's good. That, you know, there are yeah. things that you're gonna find as right. far stuff like that and development going on. But it's development. Development means that it's just improving. Mm -hmm. So you know, you don't look at certain things. Don't go over there and just think that you know, oh, everything is so great. I'm gonna go over there and become a millionaire instantly. No, mm -hmm. you, know, you gotta go over there and do your work. Mm -hmm. Actually, be humble too, because All a lot right. of times Ooh. we go over there and we're not humble. And that causes Ooh. the culture shock to be way worse. Mm -hmm. Right. We're thinking, that, we're thinking that it's going to be a certain way. We're going to strut through the, the through the masses and do whatever we want to do. And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden the culture hits you and you got to go one third that speed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got to really be logical nice. about it. So yeah. basically what I'm saying is in a nutshell, go over there with a logical standpoint and realize every, all the situation that you're going into. Right. And that's a great point. And that's you, you guys need to rewind that and listen to that again, because one thing one thing about it, I think people believe I'm going over there It's green on the other side. Everything just about to be easy. Go lucky. Boom, boom, boom. And it's yeah, not. Bye, yeah. It's not. It's not. Um, truth. The truth is, it has a lot of challenges, just like anywhere right. in the whole entire world. Right. Right. It has a lot of yeah. challenges a lot of shortcomings a lot of, it got government it got corruption every it has everything wherever you're coming from it got it <laughs> it may be on a different scale absolutely there. so the culture shock like absolutely. for myself um like you were saying about think you gonna move all fast you not <laughs> Yeah. they stopped me super quick and it's not that you go <laughs> over there thinking you're about to you know take over the world or anything you just going like for myself I can just speak for me like I went up with, with a, a helping mindset to just give 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 but the one thing I should have realized is first I got to make sure I'm good before yeah, I right. can help anybody else and if you're moving over there that's you need to make sure that you and your family are the number one focus not the people around because yes they're going to be a, they're important right, but right you have to make sure you and your family are solid prior to you really being able to <laughs> help anybody else and that will take a little bit of time that doesn't mean you can't you know invest in something small or however you want you do what you want but i'm saying based on what i know i wouldn't <laughs> just go over there just trying to do make big, big moves super, super quick because it's not, it doesn't move that fast. Yep. Now in the States, you know, I can put something somewhere and move faster and get something done next week and buy a house that quick. You can do that. There mm -hmm. you cannot do that. It don't, it don't work like that. The culture is not like that. And that's fine. Right. The thing is, that's fine. But right. just don't go there with that mindset. Like, yeah, I'm about to go save the world. And I'm about to, like, like Adam said, I'm about to be a millionaire. <laughs> Well, hold up, wait. <laughs> I ain't saying none of that's not gonna happen because it is, it will happen in due time. But allow yourself to enjoy this journey because it is a journey. Your destination is not once you get there, that's just when the journey begins. Right, right, absolutely. And, and uh, you know what, Cree, if you don't mind, for those people that's joining us late, right. Mm -hmm. Just, just reiterate the topic that we're talking about right now. And we're just, talking just, about how the diaspora deal with the culture shock of the repatriation to Gambia. Hey. I, I, so, I, I mean, this I, is real life. Real I, people it, who've already been there. Yeah. Right, right. And you know, real experiences. Uh, you know, one, one thing is, one thing is true. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it. Okay. Time, Gambia not for everybody. Come on, oh, right? No. Say that for the people that's sitting behind me. Gambia is not for everybody. Come on. Here's, here's why I say that. I say that all the time. Okay. If 
just like Adam said and Zadi said, all you, the, the whole team has said, if if 